This episode was brought to you by our generous patrons. Want to vote on the next game we play? Consider becoming a patron. And we are back. Yes, we are. Going right back into it. This is recording session two. Yeah, and into the obstacle course. Oh, boy. Is that, yeah, it is what we were doing, huh? And welcome to the Captain Cork Fitness Course. Ooh. Fitness course, obstacle course, same thing. I like this cork better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my think of my strength? Okay, we can do yeah. that. I forgot, like, how to do the jumpy. There we go. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. There you go. I got it. Well, this is the perfect one to come back to because it's like, yeah, I don't know. I hit the jumps. What is this? This is like your first there test in this game to be like, hey, here's all the different ways you can kind of go up mm -hmm. um, the different platforms in Ratchet and Clank. Especially because they went and just gave us a whole bunch of mm -hmm. different abilities and stuff. Yeah, this was in the original game too, though it didn't look as nice. Oh God, burniness. Look nice, but <gasps> this is. Nope, uh, that wasn't the bite button. I thought, it was, I thought it was L1 or R1. No, it's O. R1 is for using the helipad. I thought it was, okay. So, O. Oh. Yeah, you just gotta jump shooting. towards it. Yeah. And then hit O. There, there you we go. go. You gotta hold it, right? Yep. That one didn't and even, it linked up even though it wasn't open. Okay. Whew. I must have been thinking about it. Oh, you know what? I might have been thinking of like uh, grab in Little Nightmares. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> There's some boxes around here, so you can go ahead and break yeah, some stuff. Yeah, I was going to do bolts. a quick run around because this area seemed like it was a little separate. Remember, from you can hit, like jump, hit the ground, and it'll hit stuff around you. Mm -hmm. Like right. Oops. Nope. With what a the square hit button. There we yeah. go. Cool. So sometimes they'll like reveal hidden stuff too. I can't remember if that's in this game. Oh, like right. I was thinking I, maybe like these dirt patches or something. Sometimes there'll be hidden bolts that you just won't see, and it just huh. kind of hits everything in a nice ground pound arena. So I you're like, it. okay. A little splash damage AOE type deal. Exactly. So okay. that way you don't miss anything. Um, I can't remember which Ratchet game it is, and I might be misremembering. Well, that's okay. If there's something that's obvious that looks like I can ground pound on, I'll, I'll try yeah. and do something like that. I just remember there was something like in some of the Ratchet games, you would just ground pound and occasionally you would find random bolts. <laughs> I uh, remember you can double to F your third mm -hmm. jump. Yeah, you can hold X and that'll give you your <laughs> helipad. Yeah. It doesn't give me. Oh boy. Okay. I'm gonna restart that one. Didn't know yeah. those guys went in and out. Ventilation shafts are moving in and mm -hmm. out. Please, please, please. Okay. I'm having a little trouble with these guys because. Please let me. It takes a while. Yeah, <laughs> you're at, at that point. I think it's because it was moving in. It mm -hmm. wouldn't let me do it. There you go. There we go, yeah, yeah. I was sitting here like, please do something! There aren't too many of those in this game, so you don't really have to worry about that. This is just more than like, hey, you know, make mm -hmm. sure it's available when you're trying to jump. Yeah. No, it makes sense at this point in the game. They're kind of like, hey, uh, kick gloves off. Like, we're teaching you how to do stuff. Now mm -hmm. remember it, dum-dum. Uh, I like how I don't... What? What? Do I have to actually go against the walls? Yeah, you have to go against the walls. Well, I was holding right and it was letting me go back and forth, but before I was trying to do left and right and I was goofing it. Um, you should be able to do either or, but it's been a while, so... Yeah, it's been a little bit. Circle? Where are you at? What is... Oh, just do the fly. Okay, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Double tap and fly. Get that so wait, bolt. hold, hold. Can I do just the, this one? You can do that one, Or does that one not work? No, you can do that, but you have to hold it after. Wee! I'm not holding that. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say, hey, what about the long jump I just learned about? I need to use that one. I don't think they've taught you it. I think I'm the one who told you how to oh, do Oh, you know, that. you might have. Yeah, I think I'm the one who told you how to do that, or you might have just figured it out on your own. Well, because they also, at one point, there was a point where we did use the jump. But mm -hmm. we might not have, uh, they might not have told us to do it, we might have done the double X. Oh no, wait, I think there was. They told us to do the long jump, because they're like, you can't make this gap. It was, it was right after we did the hold R1 yeah. to do the, the super jump or the or the propeller jump. Nice, 5 out of 28, and nice. my coffee is still way too I'm long. assuming we're going to get, like, 10 by the end of this game. Uh, it'll probably be, like, around 15 or so. Most of them aren't that bad in this game, honestly. Hmm, stuff. 
Oh god, it's gonna be like clean toilets or something, isn't it? It could be. Oh god. He does it's like gonna be some menial labor. He's like, I had to hire you on, but I didn't have to give you the good jobs. Yeah, this is an MMO. You gotta do menial labor. <laughs> um, Save the universe twice. Still gotta go find rabbits in a hole for some stupid dwarf. Is that what this, uh... This is supposed to be the first one, right? Yeah, this is the yeah, first Yeah, but it's a game. remake of the first one. Chronologically, this is the first game. Hey, the time stuff goofed me up, but mm -hmm. we can talk about that after. I thought it was time to get you a new run. That's fucking tight. That's cool. G Star Jumper? Is this for me? Technically, it's Galactic Ranger <laughs> property, but if you survive, uh, complete this super secret yet complete oh, no. level mission, she'll be yours to use whenever you like. <laughs> he was gonna send me out to die. A mission. lot of times, yeah. I call it Operation Falling Star. <laughs> oh, All right, no. Infobot, Infobot. Cadet, you've been selected for Operation Falling Star. Galactic Ranger Intel tells us Chairman Drek has a state-of-the-art weapons lab in Nebula G34. Your mission is to destroy his top-secret project without, and this is important, telling anyone. Ever. <laughs> Seriously, this is uh, our little secret. <laughs> sure, but I, I thought he was going to be a lot less like obviously trying to kill me. Nah, well, your wits and the kind of fortitude normally found The freaking chin, man. It's glorious. I like his style. This is cool. Yeah, they've always done like really interesting. Like, this has always been a bit with their games. They'll do little cutaway videos like that. Mm -hmm. I'll tell them where to stick it for you. I'm counting on you, Ratchet. That's pretty much God, it for, I think, this planet. Right up your arse, you jerk. That's another game up your arsenal. Yeah, right up your arsenal. There you go. I, 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 I meant that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I believe it's just Nebula yeah, G. Yeah, so I was, I was rechecking the planets. Yeah. Collect all random holo cards. We'll come back. That's something we can't even complete mm -hmm. yet. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh about this um i'm really i'm really digging this game a lot when i re reloaded it for this session mm -hmm. i looked at it visually and i was like holy hell that's right this game does look pretty good yeah there's, there's a lot of art direction in this game it's crazy i really thought commander bud bud face man um oh, was Quark. going to be Quark. yeah thank you uh was going to be more like i'll just put you on the sidelines and you'll end up revealing something that gets me put in prison and I are in position he and definitely has a different motivation than uh the first game Come but it it kind of all player. goes the same path your position from here. this just seems like he's actively rooting against me though <laughs> whereas the other one you know, just just felt like he'd just be more corporate, like, eh, we'll put you over here and you won't cause any problems, and yeah. Yeah, the first game does not start with him in prison. You don't know yeah. yet. This, yeah. like, is kind of like a retelling in a way, but mm -hmm. not. Well, one of the commenters was saying that this one was way more influenced by the movie, right? Uh, I mean, yeah and no. I feel like Insomniac told the story that they wanted to tell. Um, I think this was like, yeah, it's influenced by the movie, but it keeps well, all the, like, well, the... Well, actually, the movie's probably influenced by the game because it's yeah, based off the game. But... The, mo the movie is based off the game, but it adds more characters, but I'm pretty sure Insomniac had a hand in the storytelling for how they built the movie. Explore outside. Because like, is there oxygen? There's probably no. Oxygen. Oh, but I have my suit out there, huh? Yeah, like I'll go into more detail later on, mm -hmm. like when we get to like the reveal or the twist or whatever. But like, yeah. the main difference. They're definitely alluding to something yeah. here, and I, I'm I'm digging that. I like that storytelling structure. Perhaps the trespasser will be useful here. Yes, it will be. I'll I'll go to this section before I go outside the airlock. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Continue. Blocks yeah, it's just saying it. yeah, blockers, no. yeah. I just mean, did, reminding. Didn't we already do this? Yeah. We did, but now you're just kind of like doing it again. You didn't have to do that trespasser before. You have to do this one. So I see what we're doing here. Yeah. And there's all chain to that. So the other ring is Oh, by, I gotta press up. Yeah. I was so used to pressing down. I was like, why is it not connecting? Like, makes main... sense. Because you're going from the inner mm -hmm. ring to or you're going from the outer ring to the inner ring. Yep. Is that fucking poison? Yes. What? <laughs> I don't like that. Attention scientists! Chairman Fred here. I just wanted to thank you for all of your hard work these last few months. I may be your leader, but I am not without the tenacious oh. Blarg here at this moment. The weapons you're creating 
will help mark the beginning of a glorious oh, new era yeah. of our time. <laughs> I uh, I always I really like I mean maybe it's Insomniac maybe it's Toys Bro I don't know who like specifically kind of like brought this kind of energy to it but like Blarg and Denork and they're very like well, Insomniac I love it right yeah because I mean so, Insomniac made the original Spyro yeah so they'd be in charge of like all the naming structure and stuff okay yeah but Toys for Bob is great Toys for Bob is great. <laughs> Oh boy, that's not good. Takes three to keep. Oh, did I miss him? Oh, he's got armor or something yeah, on. Yeah, he's he's a. He's I was a like, big... I think it takes take three to kill those guys. He's strong. Um, yeah, he's a strong boy. Biggest difference so far in terms of like the storytelling, and we've talked about this mm -hmm. before. But to that commenter that talks, like Ratchet's just kind of a bit of a dick in the first game, like to Clank. Like he's not very nice to him. And they kind of build that over time where like he's like, all right, I'm going to rely on you. So it's a bit more of like he starts as a little bit kind of. He's a dick to Clank, meaning like he's just not as nice as he is in this game. Where like he's like, buddy, he uses him like a robot. Yeah, he doesn't. Than... Yeah, he doesn't really treat him like as a friend. He's just kind okay. of like, all right, this guy's kind of a little bit annoying, but he's getting me closer to Captain Quark, who is my hero. OK. And like it has been brought to my attention that we may have an intruder at the facility. No. <laughs> if you come across anyone who is not a Blarg, please feel free to kill them. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Sherman Drake is a little bit more. Except for Cheryl, she's here delivering lunch for everybody. Yeah, everyone appreciates Cheryl. She is part of the PTA, <laughs> and she is a big portion of this society, and we really need her because we have some biggest lunch. Hello, um, God. Uh, you were saying though that Drake they, is they... a little bit more menacing, um, just because he's got like if you've ever remember that Batman show where people hated the version of the Joker, where it was like the like really angular style. He had like the trench coat. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I very vaguely remember that. That's by also by Kevin Michael Richardson, which I like that. Before anyone's like that was a good version, I'm like I liked it too. Mm -hmm. Before anyone gets mad or defensive. Oh jeez. Oh god. Yeah, they're not, they're not friendly boys. Okay, so they're just. They're like wild dogs. Yeah, they are. Um, they are friendlies. What? Is, they're also invading. Yeah, <laughs> but the, the ratchet that kind of you have now is more in line with the ratchet that came up out the second game and all the future games. Like this is more in line who who he is as a person. Should I have? It has been betrayed later on. I thought this was a side path, but it's getting a little deeper than I expected. Should I have used the trespasser no, down there? Get, no, you can go this way. It doesn't okay. matter. Like, the, the thing about this game is there's. I, I thought it was leading paths. me into the trespasser, so I was like, well, I don't want to. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, you, you know, there's, me. side there's, path first. Yeah. There's always, like, multiple pathways in these. Oh, boy. But there's always multiple objectives, mm -hmm. so, like. Yeah. You kind of, like. You oh, double back. Exactly. Like, yeah, it, yeah. it all kind of loops back into Oops. it. Man, this game, this version, this level is the one thing that made me go like, wow. Just the outside? Well, just because like in the original game, like, you don't see that. <laughs> like, oh, really? it, it's okay. just glass. Like you kind of see space. Glass, what are you doing up there? But like the reflections and all like the crazy lighting and all like oh, that fuck. stuff that's in oh, here. Because it was a PS2 game, you know? Oh. There wasn't that much. It was at the beginning of the PS2. I was trying to see you. Impressive for its time. Really impressive for its time. But like how they've improved Whoop. the art style is... Uh, it's gratifying to see. Oof. No, it's it's pretty rock. And my idea behind ooh, that guy's bigger than I expected. My idea behind which one we would play one is just ease of what's good for recording. Yeah. And then oh, I didn't mean to hit you. I'm so sorry. Well, you you hit. And then ass. two. Hopefully, you can't actually hit me from here. Haha. <laughs> no, he gets spray oh, stuff at you. Um, was that uh, I, while this one may be different than the first one. It, it's still Insomniac's vision for it. Yeah. Right? So it's no, like, yeah. well, I want to play the one that they were like, maybe back then they were like, well, we, we couldn't really put all this into I there. Think, but now yeah. that we have the option to or the ability mm -hmm. to, you know, let's reprise it. It, it definitely seemed like it might have been more of a reprisal than like, well, let's rewrite it to match the movie. It's like, well, you guys know that they had a hand in the movie, like, right? Mm -hmm. so. It's more in line with who Quark and who oh, Ratchet Quark. and who those characters kind of are in the future. Some people kind of get upset because it, some people feel it takes away some of their character development in a sense. And it kind of like, 
the way Quark is in this one doesn't match up with how he is in the second game, so there's a little huh. bit of like retconning where you have to like change your mind a little bit, but But it's, with the knowledge that the game was released yeah. after okay. But this feels more in line with like where Insomniac would eventually go with Crack in Time oh, and the PlayStation 3 games where they were really more concerned about story and realized, oh, we're gonna we're gonna keep going with this franchise. We're gonna keep mm -hmm. it's still really popular. It's a great system seller and we love it, Sony loves it, fans love it. We should really build out lore. Because, I mean, if you think about, like, Spyro, they weren't considering lore. They were just like... It really didn't feel like it, right? Yeah, they were just like, we're just making a fun game. Like, you yeah. know. Oh, and fuck, there's he survived other... at one of the launchers. Yeah. Oh, can I please drop down? And they're not, like... They weren't the building grenades. worlds because games didn't really, they didn't do that. Like, yeah. you didn't think a franchise was going to last maybe one or more games, so you may build the world and think about it a little bit. Spiders. Oh, fuck this. Yeah, there's a lot in this room. Yeah, there is. Hi, boys. If I don't go in, you don't get procced. I do think, though, if you like end up playing this game and you really like it, and you can get your hands on the PlayStation HD collection, mm -hmm. which I wish they would re playing also, right? Yeah, I wish they would re-release that. Like, it's it's a bummer because it's only on PS3, and now we're one console generation away again, like two away from that console. Mm -hmm. So, unlike the Jack and Daxter one, it's hard to play that. Maybe yeah. they'll, maybe they're working on a big HD HD collection again, where they're going to include all the PS3 games. That would be cool because there's a lot of PS3 games for Ratchet as well. There's Into hmm. the Nexus, Dude, Shotgun, Quest for Booty, and Grenade. And those are only like five hour games. But then you also have, oh God, what is it? There's the RTS one, RTS Tower game. Mm -hmm. Another like five hour. But then they have their two mega games, which is a crack in time and um, Tools of Destruction. Jump on down. And unless bitch. you have a PS3, like, oh, you just can't okay. play those games. And they're all. Story-wise, like, a Tools for Destruction, Quest for Booty, and Crack in Time were all fantastic. I, I mean, I, I realize that people like them a lot. It just mm -hmm. kind of bewilders me that they haven't gotten the same treatment. What do you mean? I mean, like, uh, the re-release type of thing. For, oh, like, yeah. You know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, there was, for a while, there... I think maybe Ooh, part of it, too, was... Um, and some, Hi, yeah, gang! Yeah. Insomniac wasn't owned by Sony at that time. They are now. Um, and they would just do contract work. And they were starting oh, to do right. some... I can have this guy out. Yeah, Mr. Zircon. Yeah. Uh, they were starting to do a bunch of deals with Microsoft. So they made, um, I believe it was Sunset Overdrive. Mm. And they had that deal with EA for Overstrike. I believe that was the name of that game, which didn't do well. So they were kind of in a period of a studio where, like, they didn't really know where they were going they didn't want to be bought out and they kind of wanted to be independent um okay but they also were like trying to explore their options because ratchet did well but it wasn't like well enough to offset like the bad likeness of like the resistance franchise which just did not <laughs> mr zirka it just didn't it just didn't sell well enough for them yeah, to be like yeah. i mean they made three more i mean two they more made, games they made, they three, made three more like they did okay they weren't like oh no we're gonna go broke but they weren't like uncharted where they just like did gangbusters for mm -hmm. sony it wasn't like kill zone oh, where it did gangbusters for sony oh hey that's got more range than i expected i thought he was dead for a second ratchet's kind of like mario in a sense where it's like it always does well for the company hmm. sneaking into our restricted area to feed subject 857p echo this is a friendly reminder that 857p echo is not a <laughs> it's next meal will be you. Oh man, that's good. But the writing, yeah, in this it, game is still just what you want out of a ratchet game. Too. I'm enjoying the fuck out of this game, man. Yeah. I was eager to come back to it. And saying that, we're gonna have to leave and then we'll come back yeah, we'll and we'll be see back you guys next tomorrow. Time. Beep, bop, boo. A little laser warning right there, that's cool. There's just I so... just noticed that the the, the triangle. Yeah. The, yeah. There's just so much attention to detail. Yeah. Just the way they build the mechanics and the robots and the universe itself. It's just like, okay, this all feels viable. Like, yeah, that kind of looks like how if it was in space, this is how you would build a base. Like, 